So, welcome back to Free America. Um, I have an interesting item to show you today. Um, and I'm showing it to you um, now because it goes along with this uh, book that I just received not long ago. Um, it's the History of French Military Rifles by Ian McCollum. This is a great, great um, reference book. Um, this book has raised the bar for firearms reference books. The, uh, the photography um, and the thoroughness of this book are top notch. Absolutely amazing. Um, super well done. So, so you might guess this is a French rifle. Um, please forgive me if we're doing this video out uh, here uh, with all this background noise. I, I hope um, my voice picks up okay because I'm trying out a new camera. So, this piece of equipment right here is a model 1874 Gras Muscatoon. That's called an artillery Muscatoon, right? So it is a short rifle, short target. Um, this particular piece of equipment, oh, and the, the caliber of this is 11 millimeter by 59 rim, um, which is a strange caliber. When I moved out here, we didn't have this kind of travel. Um, but this little piece of equipment, just to find one, first of all, is, a, is extremely difficult to find one in, uh, in good condition that's halfway affordable. But I promise you, unless you are a collector of Arab Bedouin rifles, you have never seen one like this. Because this rifle has been modified by the Saudi Bedouins for use um, by, by the Bedouin uh, riflemen, right? So this rifle would have been in use prior to uh, around the turn of the century, turn of the 20th century and prior to the First World War on the Arabian Peninsula. So as you can see, they, they shortened the, uh, the rifle a little bit. They took the butt plate off. You can still see the, the holes. And they, they rounded it and made this little knob, right? And that little knob, supposedly, is so that on horseback, um, the Bedouin horseman can put this little knob underneath his arm and carry the reins of the horse in the other arm, in the other hand. So they've taken a lot of wood off. They've taken off. They've taken off the actual rear sight, which used to sit here, and they put this one on. And you'll see pictures of all of this stuff here in just a few minutes. Um, they kept the brass um, sling swivel and barrel band. They kept the brass uh, trigger guard. But the brass butt plate and the brass front plate are gone, as are the bayonet lock. So, I'll show you some detailed pictures and um, I'll share some information with you, um, most of which I did not know uh, until I got this book. So, I wasn't sure what caliber it was. Um, I wasn't quite sure what the markings meant. Now I am. Um, so this rifle also had uh, barrel bands that were held in by little barrel band springs. Those are both gone. And the front of the barrel, or excuse me, the front of the stock right underneath the barrel is cracked and broken off. Um, so they repaired it by putting this piece of camel skin leather on it and shrinking it down to fit the rifle. 
pretty neat. So, here's a toast to Ian McCollum and to his book, Chasse Pote de Fama, French Military Rifles, 1866 to 2016. Here's to you, Ian. Well done, sir. God bless America.